and I'll pass the call to Mr. David Lembrick, MLC. Thank you, Chair, and uh, thank you, Attorney General, for your appearance this morning <coughs> and your presentation. Um, I'm one of the things that's core to my philosophy is the rights of the individual, and um, what we've seen is, you know. A, a massive, massive impost on the rights of the individual since these emergency powers have been used. You know, we've seen disappear uh, freedom of movement, freedom of assembly. Um, we have police able to uh, search and seizure without warrant. Um, we have lost the right to work. Um, this whole series of rights are not recognised by law anymore at, right now under these stage four restrictions. Can the Attorney General please describe what rights are left that uh, are still recognised by law. Um, thank you, Mr. Limbrick. And I, I think, um, you know, it's obviously goes to the heart of um, some of the great debates um, that the response to this pandemic has engendered. And um, uh, in terms of um, what are um, people's rights, I, I'd make a couple of really important points. Um, when the state of emergency was first put in place, an important part, an important part of that response was not to suspend the Charter of Human Rights in Victoria. Um, and, 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 and you might ask, well, why is that significant? And I would say that that's significant because um, what remains irrespective of what, you know, a person who brings um, your um, perspective to the government's response to the pandemic um, is the ability for people to be able to um, enforce and argue um, those rights. None of those rights have been suspended in terms of people's capability uh, to go and enforce those in a court of law. And um, the Victorian Charter sets out a range of rights. And I would also argue uh, things like um, the, the, you know, the right to good health care, the right to uh, try and um, live your life free of um, disease. All of those things are important rights that need to be balanced as government makes decisions in terms of how they respond. So I think the first really important point is that people still enjoy um, an ability to go and legally um, take and hold the government to account in the event that they believe that a particular right has been unfairly fettered with. They can do that under the Victorian Charter. They can also use um, all of the decisions of government um, that have been made are all subject of judicial review. So that means that people can, um, again, you don't necessarily have to even argue that it's a breach of human right, but if you think you've been denied natural justice, um, you can go and challenge a decision. Um, one of the things that's interesting, I think, is um, around um, um, the imposition of fines. And I know that um, the police minister and the chief commissioner are before you um, later on this afternoon. Um, the rate of people potentially um, um, saying that actually they'd like to challenge a, something in court is actually slightly on the increase than normal. And so, you know, there definitely is, I think, a, a, a view by some that um, they do want to challenge the um, use of state power. Uh, in terms has of... Any, has, um, has there been any, any challenges in court on any of these um, fines? In terms of fines and people challenging um, those fines, I don't believe... There's definitely a higher rate of people um, seeking review and then a higher rate of people indicating that they wish to go and argue the toss in court, as I would um, describe it, perhaps in a, or to, uh, a too um, uh, familiar or informal um, manner. Um, there are um, uh, certainly when the Chief Health Officer has to make directions, one of the things they have to do is they have to be conscious they've got to take the various rights listed in the Charter into consideration, so a person could challenge that. There's got to be what in legal terms we call a proximity or a proportionality between um, what you're seeking to do with a government action um, and, and what the problem is. So if it's not significantly or sufficiently linked to the health risk, the greater the legal risk of it being challenged is essentially where the law sits on um, these matters. Okay. Um, and I just might ask the secretary if she's aware of any other, I'm, I'm not aware of any um, um, cause of action against the state except for 
um, the matter of the prisoner that that ultimately the court um, has dismissed. I think there was one other case that was ultimately dismissed as well from a prisoner, but I'll just ask the secretary to advise me if she is aware of um, anything else that may have been filed in the courts in recent days that I'm not aware of. Thanks, Attorney, and thanks, Mr Lindbrick. Um, to go to your uh, question in relation to fines, we've obviously kept all the safeguards in place, so the same review mechanisms apply. So um, if a fine is at an infringement stage, that person can then apply to the enforcement agency. In this case, it would be Victoria Police for an internal review. At 25 August, we had um, over 1,108 people um, applying for an internal review. And if a fine is registered for, um, through Fines Victoria for enforcement, a person can apply to Fines Victoria for an enforcement review at the 25th of August. Um, uh, people have applied for an enforcement no. review of 53 fines. That, that um, wasn't but my question though. Like the question was, have they actually gone to court? Uh, so um, uh, right now, um, I'm not aware of any having reached court, but because of the fact that it's important to go to the fact that most are, revol are resolved through the review stage. But because of the fact that it's important to go to the fact that most are, revol are resolved through the review stage. But because of the fact that it's important to go to the fact that most are, revol are resolved through the review stage. And that's why yes, we have are. those important checks and balances in place. So people, particularly vulnerable cohorts of people, can go through that process um, and have their their, their fine um, withdrawn. Withdrawn. Court. Yes, it's all, it's almost like the government doesn't want them to go to court. Yes, it's all, it's almost like the government doesn't want them to go to court. Yes, it's all, it's almost like the government doesn't want them to go to court. <laughs>